Journalists from around the world have gathered in Shaman for the BRICS summit, reporting for television, radio, print, and digital media, even using drones. Each of the international reporters is covering the concerns of their home countries. Rafael Fontana says the BRICS summit comes at a crucial time for Brazil after several years of political turmoil. The BRICS summit is going to be very important for Brazil to try to attract investments again in Brazil. We have a recession for about three years and this is maybe the best platform for Brazil to come and try some investments. Russian reporter Konstantin Shepin says several deals expected to be signed at the BRICS summit will bring China and Russia closer. Quite an important one is the cooperation agreement between the Fujian province and one of the Russian regions. And he says people-to-people -people ties have grown in recent years. Right now China is uh, number one tourist country for Russia. Uh, quite a lot of Russian tourists are coming, uh, coming over to China. Radio reporter Krishnamurthy Manakandan says India is also looking to strengthen ties with China. The BRICS summit is important for India just as it is for China, because as an emerging market, it would like to boost cooperation between India and China. Melanie Peters is a South African journalist. She says BRICS has helped her country forge closer ties with China. China is our biggest trading partner. Um, they play a vital role in business and in deals, and they they working to building infrastructure. Du Yang is from host country China. He says the expanded meeting this year, with China inviting five additional developing countries, will be interesting to watch. The BRIC Plus idea was first announced by Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi. Uh, it's about enlarging the circle of friends of China. And hoping those new friends lead to increased global growth and development. I think it's, uh, it's not just the, the five BRICS countries, it's about the whole world, I think, especially like the, the emerging markets. Hundreds of journalists from China and around the world are covering the BRICS summit here in Xiamen. This is the facility that's home base for those journalists. It's known as the International Broadcast Center. It's designed to give everybody working here the resources and technology they need to cover the summit quickly, efficiently, and accurately. Each workstation has power outlets, an internet connection, and perhaps most importantly, a translation channel so that the reporters can hear the speeches and press conferences in their own languages. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Shaman.